Listening to English conversations is an excellent method to enhance your English skills. It enables you to hear the language spoken fluently, aiding in better pronunciation, vocabulary, intonation, and language rhythm comprehension. Moreover, it assists in learning common expressions and idioms, improving your listening and speaking abilities. So, begin your listening journey and fully immerse yourself in English to advance your proficiency. Hey, Alex, how about grabbing a coffee? Sure, sounds good. What were you thinking about? Actually, I was just browsing travel blogs, and they're seriously making me want to travel again. I know the feeling. Where are you dreaming of going these days? Oh, so many places. Right now, Japan is definitely at the top of my list. I've always been interested in the culture. From the beautiful temples and gardens to the busy cities and cool technology. Japan is amazing. I went a few years ago and it was incredible. Did you have a specific city in mind? Tokyo, for sure. I'd love to see all the famous stuff like Shibuya Crossing and the Tokyo Tower. And of course, try all the amazing food. Tokyo is a must-see, but Kyoto is cool too. It's a more traditional city with awesome temples and geisha districts. True, that sounds cool too. Maybe a Japan trip needs to be a two-city adventure. Exactly. What else is on your bucket list? Well, another place I've always wanted to visit is the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. The idea of snorkeling or diving and seeing all that amazing underwater life sounds incredible. Wow, that sounds amazing! Have you ever been scuba diving before? No, not yet. But it's definitely something I'd love to learn how to do on a trip like that. Well, that would be the perfect opportunity. Speaking of travel, do you have any special tricks for saving money or packing light? My suitcase always seems to weigh a ton, and I never manage to stay on budget. Totally. Saving money on trips can be tricky, but there are definitely some hacks. For flights, I try to be flexible with travel dates and airports. Sometimes flying on weekdays or into smaller airports can be much cheaper. Oh, good point. Weekday travel never even crossed my mind. Yeah, it can be a lifesaver. Another thing I do is look for deals and discounts on travel websites and apps. They often have flash sales or special offers, especially for budget airlines and hostels. Smart thinking. Speaking of hostels, have you stayed in many? A few. They're a great way to meet other travelers and save on accommodation, especially in expensive cities. The key is to choose a well-rated hostel in a safe area. Some even offer free walking tours or social events, which is a fun way to explore the city. I might have to give hostels a try next time, but back to packing light. How do you manage it? I swear I pack for every possible situation. We've all been there, Alex. The key is to focus on versatile pieces you can mix and match. Neutral colors are your friend and pack clothes that can be dressed up or down. For example, a nice black dress can be worn for dinner with a statement necklace or during the day with a denim jacket and sandals. Ooh, a scarf is a brilliant idea. I always forget about those. And finally, the most important packing tip, always roll your clothes. It saves so much space and helps prevent wrinkles. Wow, Lisa, you're a travel pro. These are all amazing tips. I feel so much more prepared for my next adventure already. No problem, Alex. Happy travels. Speaking of adventures, have you had any funny travel mishaps lately? Yeah, it was supposed to be this grand moment, you know? Picture perfect. But when I got there, I completely forgot about the time difference. Oh no. What happened? Well, I had planned this whole photo shoot in front of the tower, you know, the classic tourist pose. I even practiced it in my mirror beforehand. I can totally picture that. Anyway, I get there bright and early, camera ready, only to find the whole place deserted. Not a single tourist in sight. I thought maybe I was at the wrong place, but there it was, the leaning tower looking as majestic as ever. Just completely alone. So what did you do? Well, I felt a bit silly, but I decided to take a few pictures anyway. Just me in the tower, having a private moment. At least you got the pictures, right? Yeah, that's true. 
But the funny part doesn't end there. Turns out the tower is actually closed to the public early in the morning. I completely forgot to check the opening hours. Oh, Alex. That's hilarious. So, there I was, posing in front of a closed monument all by myself. A real tourist fail. Luckily, some other tourists showed up eventually, and I learned a valuable lesson about time zones and checking opening hours. Oh, Alex, you wouldn't believe some of the travel mishaps I've had. Like the time I tried a delicious-looking dish in Thailand, only to discover it was a whole, deep-fried cricket. Legs and all. Let's just say it wasn't quite the flavor explosion I was hoping for. Oh my gosh, Lisa, you ate a cricket? Well, not on purpose. But hey, it was an adventure, right? Travel teaches you so much, even if it involves unexpected insects or getting turned around in the rainforest. Absolutely, it opens your eyes to new cultures and ways of life. Speaking of which, have you ever learned something surprising about a different culture on your travels? Definitely. On a trip to Morocco, I was struck by the incredible hospitality of the people. Even with a language barrier, they welcomed me into their homes and shared their culture with open arms. That's amazing. Travel can really break down barriers and connect people from all over the world. Exactly. And sometimes the most unexpected things can teach you the most. Like that time I got lost in the rainforest. It made me appreciate the importance of respecting nature and the knowledge of indigenous communities. Wow, that sounds like a powerful lesson. Travel can be a truly transformative experience. It can. It pushes you out of your comfort zone, teaches you to be adaptable, and opens your mind to new perspectives. Maybe I should try solo travel sometime. It could be a good way to challenge myself and meet new people. Solo travel is great for freedom and independence. But group travel can be fun too, especially with friends or family. It depends on what you're looking for in an adventure. Maybe I could try a mix of both. A solo trip for a short getaway and a group tour for a longer vacation with built-in companions. Sounds like a plan. The beauty of travel is that there's something for everyone. So where will your next adventure take you, Alex? Well, with all this talk of crickets and rainforests, maybe something a little less exotic for now. Maybe a weekend getaway to a charming European city, solo or group. I'm open to anything. Sounds perfect. Safe travels on all your future adventures, Alex. Thanks, Lisa. This conversation has been a blast, and I learned a ton about travel tips and different cultures.